You were aware in 2010 of a body of reporting of, in of, the public domain about problems with the Horizon that's, system. That's correct, yes. Uh, and that didn't cause you to reflect a little bit more? The, the, the only reflection is that during any investigation, if the issue of Horizon issues would have come up, it would have been explored with the person. Can we look at FUJ 00154879, please? And can we look at page five, or begin on page five? This is the 9th of February 2010, page five. So the same, same year as those reports were forwarded to you. Uh, we have an email from yourself to somebody called Valerie Lipscomb. Who, who was Valerie Lipscomb, do you remember? I, I'm not sure whether she's part of the, um, the Horizon call centre, where you would get any... Because uh, calls made into the business, you would have the, the business side of Paul and then <coughs> Horizon had their own call centre. So you needed two types of um, the calls to see whether anybody had called. And you say there, Valerie, thanks for the logs. I was wondering if you could help me further. I require logs of all calls in relation to Horizon problems. Am I right in thinking the attached log is due to transactional queries? If we go to page three of the same email chain at the bottom of page three, please. Um, we have an email there from Mark Dinsdale, Security Program Manager at the Post Office. Can we scroll up slightly? Uh, to Penny Thomas, who is at Fujitsu, do you recall Penny Thomas? Penny Thomas was there, yeah. Uh, and you're copied into that email. That's right. Uh, and he says, Penny, can we set up a process for these requests because we're getting more and more of them? Would you be able to provide the information Steve has requested? And that's about the Rinkfield case. Um, so in 2010 and 2011, you were certainly aware of a body of cases relating to the Horizon system that were building up, were you not? From, from, from that information, yes. And as, as I said, where, if, it, if it's come up within the, the interview, I took the actions to try and find out what, what the issue with the Horizon was, hence the logs. And in this case, Mr Dinsdale had set up um, all contact with the Fujitsu, uh, Fujitsu would be done by the casework team. Yes, but... In 2010, you had received those articles relating to problems with Horizon. You were aware from this communication that there was a body uh, of cases relating to concerns about the Horizon system. Didn't that cause you pause for thought? The pause for thought is that when, when you would speak to the person being interviewed, you would take that into account. So if you're if you informed that there's an issue within Horizon, you would look... You would, do your best to find out what the issue was. But, but you whether, began whether, today by saying that nobody from above had been telling you about bugs, errors or oh, defects. I, I don't count Mr Knight as a, uh, somebody from above. He was just equal that he's taken it from the papers. So you had been told by your equals that there were newspaper articles. You had been told by your equals uh, that there was a growing <coughs> body of cases. But that in itself was not sufficient for you to question the reliability of the Horizon I, system. I, I, because I'm, I'm not technically minded with that. I would expect that to come from the people above. If it was an issue, I would expect Fujitsu to inform the post office and the full post office to let us know what, what the issues are. 